Okay. Um, next talk is a paper by Okan Seker, Abraham Fernandez Rubio, Rainer Steinwand, and Thomas Eisenbart. And Okan will uh, give the talk. He will speak about extending glitch-free multi-party protocols to resist fault injection attacks. Um, uh, hello, and thanks for the introduction. And today I'll give you a, uh, a, sh a small talk on the, our paper. And as, as you can see, this is a, j a joint work with uh, Abraham, Thomas, and uh, Reiner. So as we all know, the physical attacks on, 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 on embedding systems are, are a real threat. So uh, if, the, uh, if the, these devices are just run some crypto uh, algorithm, these devices are vulnerable, as, as we all know. So let me introduce our adversary in this presentation. Eve will be our adversary. And what she can do, she can do sidechain attacks, uh, fault injection, probing, and glitches. And as you all know, in the, in the, even in the simplest case, what she can do is she can just do some, some simple DPA and get the, tr get the secret information very easily. So what we need to do is we need to just uh, protect these implementations. So we can do this in, in two different uh, um, categories. One of them is uh, side channel countermeasure, and the other one is fault injection, of course. Uh, as um, luckily, in the previous uh, presentation, we saw that uh, side-channel countermeasures can be listed as uh, masking. Uh, some examples are private circuits, pooling, uh, and polynomial masking, threshold implementations, and the fault injection countermeasures are redundancy, error detection, and infective computation. So of course, we need to combine these countermeasures. Uh, in, the, in the literature, there's several uh, countermeasures, uh, combined countermeasures, which can combine those, uh, those uh, different operations. So what we're going to do in this presentation is we will introduce uh, polynomial mask, polynomial based, uh, polynomial masking based countermeasures, and I will just introduce you our, our 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 scheme, and I will introduce you why do we need an error preserving multiplication, and of course I will give you some security and performance analysis, and if you have time we will do some application on AS. So uh, our counter combined countermeasure based on the Shamir secret sharing. So what is Shamir secret sharing scheme is? Is that just a polynomial based uh, secret sharing which uh, requires evaluating uh, a secret polynomial into n different points. And uh, yeah, you can see uh, some example in here, which is a, a, a degree two polynomial. And this two polynomial can be represented by three points. And uh, here, you can see that uh, our F0 is shared by three points. So we have a secret reconstruction, of course. We have two different representations. One of them is uh, the coefficients. The other one is, of course, the points. And we're going to use, of course, the, 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 the secret shares are the points itself. Uh, so uh, what do we do? What, what happens if we increase the number of shares? Now we have four points. and. If we try to interpolate these polynomials and do some uh, calculations on it, we will see that the highest degree term is uh, zero in this case. So uh, what happens if the if Eve successfully inject a fault to the system? Now, in this example, she can just uh, inject a fault to the, uh, to the third share. And when we try to interpolate these four points, what we're going to see is that uh, this highest degree term is non-zero. So we will use this fact in, in, our, in our computations, and we will uh, try to detect errors using those coefficients. So in the ND scheme, we can see that uh, the coefficient between d plus 1 and n minus 1 are the, our error detection terms. So uh, uh, as I told you, we will just stick with, the, stick with the points. So we need to just define some of the operations using the points. In the simplest case, if you would like to do some, do some addition, uh, when we try to uh, add two secrets, uh, we just need to add the, add the addition, or add the secret, add the shares of each um, player. So we can just define the affine transformation and the, uh, the square easily. Uh, but the, 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 the most interesting case is, is the multiplication. So in this example, we will say a 3 1 scheme. And when we try to do a uh, computation, and when we try to, uh, when we try to multi multiply two secrets, what we see is in the first step, we will just uh, multiply the first corresponding shares. Now, as you can see, this is a 3-1 scheme. And the F and G are actually aligned in, in this case. And when we 
multiply two lines, what we get is a, a degree two polynomial, and that means we cannot use the h as the output shares. So, in the second step, we do a randomization step, and in this step, each player just generates a random degree d polynomial whose coefficient is, the, is their calculated value. And then they, they reshare this uh, polynomial, and each player gets three different values, and they actually add, the, add this together. So, what happens if the Eve successfully in, uh, inject a fault? And as you can see, the, the fault actually propagates until the second step. And since the QIs are just a random polynomials, random degree d polynomials, what happens is when we try to interpolate this polynomial, the output is always degree greater, greater less than d. So that's why we need to, so that's why the error propagates until the second, until the first step, and then second step is always a valid degree d polynomial. So we need to try to uh, find a way to protect the implementations. So first of all, uh, what is the, our ideas? What are the, our aims? And we only, uh, we, we only detect the faults. So that means we don't want to uh, correct, the, correct the faults. That means that the only, we only uh, looked at the output if, if, the, if the output degree is greater than D. So, and also, as I told you, we have the point space and we have the coefficient space. We can just in do an interpolation and do the fault detection, but th th this is going to leak information, so we don't want to do that. And we would like to have an error-preserving multiplication. That means if, the, if Eve successfully uh, inject a fault in, in any step of the algorithm, uh, the degree of, the f uh, degree of this uh, shares should be always greater than degree D in any step, so that we can do, a, if, we, if we would like to do a fault detection in every step, we should be able to detect the faults. And lastly, uh, we would like to have infective computation. That means if the fault is injected, uh, when the output is generated, the, the E should not be able to get any information from it, and this, it should be randomized. So what is the, our uh, solution? And we introduced our error-preserving multiplication scheme in this case. It starts as the same as the previous one. Just a reminder, in here we have the error detection terms from f and uh, g are degree between d and n, and from the h we have uh, between 2d and n. So it's, as I told you, this is start as the same. And we actually update this QI uh, using some error information from the f, g, and h. And then this last step is the same. So what is the, our main idea? Main idea is that if the fault is injected, again, again, it propagates until the second step. And in the third step, uh, in, the, in, the, in the final step, the, the fault should be propagated into, into the other steps. So uh, how are we going to update this uh, QIs and utilize the error detection terms? We actually defined our new variable called EIJ. EIJ, is, it is just a share of error detection term of H or F and G. So how is cal how, how it is calculated? When the each player just calculates its, its last share, is their, their output, inherently, when they uh, get, the, get, get all the shares and calculate its, its um, corresponding output, they actually get one coefficient from H and one coefficient from, uh, or, or one coefficient from uh, G and F. So if you look to the previous example, what we see is the first share uh, gets an error detection term from H, and the second share gets an error detection uh, term from uh, F and G. And uh, again, luckily, so we I, I have the very theoretical background for the TSNI security notion. Uh, thanks for the previous presentation. And we have uh, we all know that TSNI security notion is a standard way of probing security against probing attacks. So what we did is. We defined, a, we just extend this notion to a TSNI ND notion, and we actually show that T probes and some of the output shares is simulatable by the input shares. And that means, in, in using our the error preserving multiplication, we show that T probes bring no information to the adversary because uh, D shares are, all, are, are, are already uniformly distributed, and that brings nothing. So, uh, what about our fault detection? Uh, and we saw that we defined a new, propag new notion called error propagation. Uh, as I told you, we just, uh, we just um, 
Our aim is to only detect the faults. So uh, this, this notion states that if the input is faulty, the, the, output is, the, the probability of the output is also faulty. Now, if you look into the propagation probability of, uh, probability of a finite squaring operation, this is one. Uh, however, it's in the addition and the multiplication is, is close to one. Uh, but uh, since we use the error and, and error propagated, and, and we assume that we, we, we show that error is propagated, we can uh, just uh, insert some fault detection operations so that this probability become one again. So what is the cost of our operations? And uh, as you can see, this is the, this is the previous version, and this is the, our error preserving multiplication scheme. And the, the most costly operation is the second part, which is uh, which in which we generate some um, degree d polynomial and 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 um, and evaluate this polynomial into 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 other shares. So, what is the cost of our operation? Is just the calculation of the eij. And so, for the example, we we assume we, I would like to look into the uh, the, f AS, the first part of the AS, AS box. This is the as you all know, the AS box is the, is one. A fine transformation and the, and the, and some sequence of multiplication and squaring. So what we did is we just get the get the previous algorithm and we just change change the multiplication with the error preserving multiplications and add two refreshing mask operations. So uh, what Eve can do right now, Eve can just using t props she she can just uh, get the get the intermediate variables. But since we prove that our scheme is secure in TSNI notion. We, we, we can say that these probes will bring no information to Eve. And secondly, she can just uh, do some um, inject some faults and to the inputs or within the algorithm itself. And we actually show that the, the, in the in the four one scheme, we show that the error propagation of the of this algorithm is is, or is this number. So in conclusion, what we did until here. We defined a, a new multiplication engine, which in which the information about the fault remains as a part of the shares, and the error propagates through the algebraic operations, and so that we can delay we can delay any error, error detection uh, as late as the as the final recombination step. So, um, and and we can use the yeah, and the, and also we defined a new fault detection and recombination gate. And for which we can do a, a fault detection and also a recombination. And as I told you, uh, we can just uh, we can just uh, like we can we can just inject or we can just put the fault detection algorithm in in clever uh, way of so that the fault propagation becomes one, and we can de detect the fault in any step of the algorithm. And also we using recombination it we if the fault is detectable and uh, until the end of the end of the uh, algorithm, we say that the infective computation is, is ensured. So, and also, in, in we proved our scheme is secure in ISW programming model, and uh, using the ref refreshing mask operation, we we actually able to increase the or or extend the security notion of the previous scheme to, to TSNI notion, and we uh, examine the or uh, analyze the our fault detection uh, uh, fault detection probe properties of our scheme using uh, a new co notion called propagation. And also, we implement these algorithms in the, in the uh, uh, proof of concept C implementation AS1128 on, on ultra-low power architecture ARM Cortex M M0. And we actually include uh, full leakage analysis, including higher order moments. And we, we show that this is a flow, fully constant execution flow with constant memory accesses. And uh, the code is available. You can just uh, download and play with it, and we will be very happy. And thank you for listening. Thanks for the talk. Questions? It's very soft. I, t I tried it. Over there, Emanuel. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, thank you for the talk. Uh, seeing seeing a, a fault as a, as a glitch, is, is there a chance that you could use uh, the approach presented in previous 
previous talk uh, to prove the security of, her, of your scheme, uh, if, even in presence of faults and, uh, and uh -huh. also using the composability uh, notions. Uh, yes, so uh, we we actually just um, so the, the previous scheme is actually just uh, is proven to be glitch free. So what we did is we just implement some uh, a fault fault preserving operation to that, so that we can say that uh, this this scheme can be used as a, as a, as a glitch free and also fault uh, preserving. Am I understand the question correct or? Um. Yeah, you 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 prove the no, you prove the the security of of your scheme mm -hmm. uh, with the notion of uh, robust, uh, of robustness. Yeah, of propagation. Mm -hmm. uh, is it a formal? Is do, do you succeed to prove formally that yes, yes, that there uh, is no leakage? Yes. Uh, so we, we we show that our 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 new multiplication scheme is TSNI. So it's uh, it's. it's uh, is, is, is to be proven against T props, and since we and and we know that the combination of those uh, operations is can be used, uh, with of course using some 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 conditions can be used, uh, for example, in the X X two two fifty four case, we show that actually this uh, combination of op operation is can be seen as a T secure and T probing model uh, using using refreshing mask operations. So we, it is not only enough to sh uh, show that the individual operations are TSNI. We need to add some refreshing, oper refreshing mask operations. So that's why we introduce refreshing ma mask operations. And we will able to uh, theoretically prove that our, our, our scheme is actually secure in, 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 in T-probing model. Thank you. Another question? Okay, I have one. Can you go back to slides? I think 17. No, earlier, earlier, 13 maybe. That graph here. So yeah, one down. Yeah. So w so why does this error only distribute into two parts? Uh, why don't you distribute it everywhere? In here, so we we look into the highest degree terms of the H and uh, and the H and the F F F XOR G. So in this case, this is a, for example for uh, for one scheme and. For, for, for from H, we only get the highest degree term, which is the H3. And in the, for the Q, Q1, it actually gets the error detection term from uh, G XOR uh, F. So that's why it's, it's so we, we, we only have uh, two error detection, or two uh, zero uh, coefficients uh, if, it's, if there is no fault. So we can only utilize those coefficients. So that's why only two on uh, only two of them gets it's a fault information. Okay. Other questions? No. Let's thank the speaker again. Thank you.